your relationship isn't fun, does that make you boring? No. Well, a woman in her 40s wrote to the Washington Post advice columnist saying her boyfriend, also in his 40s, broke up with her because he no longer found their relationship Fun. Mm. So, how important, Mel, is that is felt fun in a relationship, and does it depend on your age and stage? I mean, if if the, the marker is fun, then Ryan is going to divorce me. <laughs> <laughs> because I actually don't think he probably finds me very fun. What? Mm. I know Miami Mel probably seems like a party. <laughs> I know. How can you sit in that outfit and say you're not fun? <laughs> <laughs> too kind, too kind. No, because I think that um, fun in a relationship, at least in our relationship, mm -hmm. like I love to go out and party and I'm an mm -hmm. extrovert and I love to have fun, mm -hmm. but I'm also the planner in our family and so I'm the one planning the fun and planning fun is not fun. <laughs> And so what happens is I'm too worried in the moment, is everybody having fun? And yeah. so I'm not in the moment having fun. And I know, I know if there's anything he's gonna agree with me in this conversation is I have zero spontaneity. If he, and Ryan is very spontaneous. Mm -hmm. He's like, let's go and do this like last minute. And I'm like, mm -hmm. we need to plan. Oh. I, I, I don't know what that meant. What do you mean last minute? So I don't think I'm fun, not because, um, I think because I'm not spontaneous. Mm -hmm. And Ryan really, it's a, it's a birth order thing. You guys know I harp about this all the time. I'm a firstborn. He's a lastborn. And what lastborns love about marrying a firstborn is I'm the planner. Yeah. <laughs> and he just gets to go along for the ride. Yeah. And so Marquesa and Ryan have fun. I'm the serious parent. Mm. Unless you catch me on a girl's trip in Miami. Yeah. <laughs> and look out. Uh, and you're all kinds of fun. <laughs> You've been in the same relationship. You've been in a relationship for how many years? I've been married for 13 years okay. now. 13. Are you fun? I am. Uh, <laughs> uh, okay, so I'm a writer. So everything is like, here's the here's the scenario, and here's 42 catastrophes that could happen. Oh no! Right? So I catastrophize yeah. everything. So mm -hmm. I plan everything yep. and wait and observe to make sure everyone else is having fun. My husband mm -hmm. is very extroverted and outgoing. And here's what I have to say about, you know, the letter of the like, you know, should this should this relationship be fun? If your husband's telling you you're no longer fun, first of all, that's an attack. Mm. Yeah. That's not a critique, that's an attack. Yeah. Like, where are you supposed to go with that? Mm -hmm. I would argue he had something on the side going on. He was looking for an excuse. Oh. And if he was looking well, for Kwame's fun. like, that's a yes. Yeah. <laughs> if he was looking for fun, he should have married a Disney cruise director. <laughs> Well, I'm a firstborn too, but I believe in relationships. You have to have somebody who's going to plan the fun because as much as the spontaneous is great, how much spontaneous fun really happens on a day-to-day, week-to-week basis? Right. It doesn't. Right. You need someone to book the trip to think about what we're gonna do to buy the tickets to the concert that's gonna be fun. Yeah. There's but on the other hand, fun. no, no, but no, that's not fun. <laughs> but then on the other hand, you also have to have somebody who's willing to play, and I think that's also very important mm. because I can plan all I want, but if my partner's like, nah, I don't wanna do that, nah, I don't wanna do that. And I questioned this girl, it's like, did your boyfriend think you weren't fun because he was presenting you with things and you never wanted to do them? Because mm -hmm. that is a relationship killer. Right. And no matter how cute you think you are, you do still have to participate <laughs> in the relationship <laughs> and still bring something to the table. Yeah. So, you make it Yes. Like, I think you have to also define what is fun. That because too. my yeah. version of fun is not necessarily your version of fun. No. And if you're in a relationship where you don't, you're not compatible on that level, that is gonna be a problem. Yeah. I asked Jason today, I texted him, I said, how much, like how fun am I on a scale of <laughs> <Ooh, okay. laughs> And he said I was, he first said eight and then he, he jacked it up to a nine, which I feel pretty good about. So he is definitely, and I think a lot of men are like this, he's a giant child grown up. And he has, I keep coming home, like one day he finally cleaned out the basement and I was like, oh, this is great. Like, what's happening here, whatever. He bought, he bought two pinball machines and moved <laughs> them in to the basement. So now every day I come home from work, so this is this is what happened. That's your idea of fun. Uh, well, I do enjoy it, like I can't help it. Right. It's I, great. I, fun, it's a good time. So That's I'm, great. Yeah. I'm, not, I'm not always in the mood for like, okay, let's do this escape room in a box or whatever, like, yeah. but if you can find that good person who like likes the same type yep. of fun, it doesn't take a lot of planning if it's already in your basement. Yeah, yeah. well, <laughs> it's true, it's true. Thanks for watching. We've got lots more discussion and debates on everything from food and fashion to pop culture and current events. Don't forget to click like and subscribe.